Hey guys, this is Mark Yu here again and welcome back to my channel. So I've been using the BOGO X3 Pro for 3 days already and I really love the experience and the value it can bring. Snapdragon 860 with 120Hz refresh rate makes multitasking a breeze. So some of you guys might be first time BOGO users or still new to MIUI 12. So I've compiled some of the tips and tricks here that you might be interested in. So let's get started. So the first one is actually to enable 120Hz refresh rate on your phone. So as you can see here, it's pretty smooth with 120Hz refresh rate enabled. So the POCO X3 Pro screen refresh rate is actually at 60Hz by default out of the box. So by setting it to 120Hz, scrolling and app opening will be much smoother. So what you can do, go to setting, go to display, scroll down, refresh it here so you have the option to choose 120 or 60 hertz so choose 120 hertz and there you go next you can enable double tap to lock screen as you can see here so this is only proprietary to poco phones with pre-installed poco launcher so other xiaomi phones don't have this function unless you install Poco Launcher on them. So what I can do, okay, is go to setting, go to more, and enable this double tap to lock screen. And voila. So the next one is actually to double tap to wait on the off screen. As you can see here, so Poco and Xiaomi phones actually have this function. However, you can only do this at lock screen. Okay, so to do this, you go to setting and type tap and check the double tap to wait or turn off screen. And you have the function. So number four, in MIUI 12, there's actually a cool looking clock format okay uh, at lock screen that you can enable which I think very stylish compared to old ones so what you can do so as you can see here this is actually quite old-fashioned for the older MIUI version but you can have a much better looking one go to lock screen and you can see the lock screen clock format you have few options here Okay, the one that which is proprietary to Mi i12 is this one. Choose it, and you can see. So this is more modern and stylish looking. So everyone also have different preference when it comes to screen color scheme or tone. So what you can do, uh, you can adjust it to your liking by going to setting, display, and you see this color scheme. So you can adjust it to automatic, okay, this is what I always use, or saturated, you have more saturated color, or more standard but the screen will be a bit yellowish, or you can change the color temperature to your own liking. So the next one is actually to on dark mode. So although this is just an IPS LCD screen, but I personally feel that dark mode is still can save a bit of battery, although not significant. And by turning on dark mode, sometimes can be more comfortable to the eyes, especially under dark environment. So what you can do is, you have two options here, is to choose dark mode here, or you can go to setting, okay, and choose it here or here. So once you have chosen dark mode you can actually have more options okay you can actually adjust the wallpaper to be a bit darker and also the text and background to be a bit darker also and from here you can actually choose individual apps whether to let them to have dark mode or not okay so it's by your choice so to me I would prefer to have dark mode on my phone Next, 
This phone actually has on-screen navigation bar by default as you can see here but it eats up a bit of the screen real estate. So I would prefer to fully utilize the whole screen okay, since this is a almost full screen phone and use gesture control only. So what you can do is go to setting, type, full and you have the full screen display. So here you have a few options. Okay, I'm on button right now. So this is actually the menu button. Okay, and the home and the back button. So you can actually switch it, okay, opposite way. Or you can have full screen gesture. Okay, and so you have more screen real estate here. So this is actually the option that I would prefer. So the next one is actually to launch camera with volume down button. So as you can see here, volume down button, just double click it and you go to camera app. Okay, again. So what you can do is go to setting, go to lock screen, scroll down and you see launch camera. So just check this option and you are good to go. So the next one is actually to enable new control center. As you can see here, you actually have a older looking version of the control center. So in MIUI 12, you actually have a new one that you can actually set. So just go to setting, type control. Okay, and from here, choose a new version. And you have a newer looking control center, which is more awesome. But then, if you can see here, there's a small punch hole camera, okay? So, to me, I'm actually quite okay with this punch hole camera, but some of you guys might be annoyed to it. So, you can actually do to something to hide it. And go to setting, type notch, and choose this one. Oops, this one, all right. So, you have three options, it's don't hide. Or, okay, hide without moving status bar or hide or move status bar so you won't be able to see the notch so clearly so but I will still choose the first option because I want to have full screen real estate so the next one if you all notice here I actually have two WhatsApp uh, application install in my phone so you can actually do this in this Poco phone so what you can do is to go to setting type duo okay and you have the dual apps option so as you can see here I already created uh, another copy of uh, WhatsApp so you can do this for your Facebook also and as you can see here you have two Facebook apps install in this phone and you can actually do it for a lot of apps such as uh, PUBG, Lazada, Twitter, Netflix, as for even some of the games, most of the games in the market. So this is actually very convenient. So the next one is actually to enable quick ball. So what you can do, okay, type quick and you see quick ball. So once you turn on the quick ball, you have a indicator here, just tap it and you have the home menu, turn off screen and also print screen and also back button. So these options you can actually, uh, in, you can actually uh, arrange the sequence to your liking and it will hide automatically once you don't use it. So I think this is actually quite convenient okay, for some of you guys. So fortunately for this phone, as you can see here, there's actually LED light which can be enabled. But it's actually enabled by default. But just in case that it's not enabled by default, you can actually enable it yourself. So what you can do is go to setting, type, 
light and you can see the LED light option here so this will okay check both so that when you charge your phone or there's a notification so the notification light will be on the next one is actually to enable one-handed mode okay so as you can see here if you swipe from the home button okay to the right or to the left so you have a smaller screen or tap to go back to normal so what you can do is go to setting type one okay and here you and check this one handed mode so you can choose to have 4.5 inch 4 inch or 3.5 inch or smaller display so it's easier when you're uh, using it one handed okay if you choose 3.5 so the screen would be super small okay and the next one is actually a function so let's say that you have been using this phone for a long time or uh, this phone has been exposed to dust so sometimes dust might actually cover the speakers here okay so you make uh, listening to the audio uh, affected so what you can do okay is to go to setting type clear okay so you have this clear speaker option so you play a 30 seconds audio to clear the speakers once you check it so you clear the speakers from dust or whatever foreign objects that you have tiny objects so I think this is actually quite cool okay so as you can see here run this feature once or twice you will find your speaker is actually lightly blocked by dust and you can run this for two to five times while shaking your device okay facing downwards so this is actually quite handy and the next one is actually uh, the screenshot option so the most commonly used uh, way is actually to have three fingers swipe okay or to press power and also volume down button okay this is the most commonly one but apparently there are a few options also okay just type screen take a screenshot okay and you can actually have this view options here so but I would think that the slide three fingers down would be the most convenient ones the next one is actually to enable power monitor so if you are gamer and you want to monitor the phone temperature as a whole so this is what you can do go to setting go to about phone okay and tap this and you see the you are now developer notification and go down to additional setting scroll down and you see developer options okay and you just scroll down until you see power monitor so it's almost to the end of the menu so just choose this and press start so as you can see here you can see the screen resolution and the phone is actually at 120 Hertz okay and the phone right now the temperature is actually at 37.2 degrees Celsius so I think this is quite handy okay so if you don't want it you can actually tap it and exit so some of the apps okay the stop me apps uh, actually comes with advertisement ads which most of you guys actually don't like but the good news is you can actually disable this annoying stuff by going to the setting okay and uncheck the receive recommendation so the the next time when you open the app and you won't be able to see any advertisement but the con is that you have to do it one by one okay on the new iStock app so but after you have done everything so the ads will be disappeared so I actually love this phone but one thing I'm actually quite annoyed is that 
this phone actually comes preloaded with a lot of bloatwares. So as you can see here, Booking.com, Bubble, uh, and also this game which I actually don't like, Jewels, LinkedIn. Okay, so actually this phone actually came with even more uh, bloatware, but I already uh, uninstalled a few of them. But what you can do is that just press it, go to App Info, press uninstall, and it will install the bloatware. So it's actually quite easy. So this is actually preferred to actually save more space in this phone so that you all have more storage. So there you go guys, some of the tutorials that I would like to share uh, on this uh, POCO X3 Pro. So I hope that most of you guys already got this phone. This phone is actually a very good phone at this price, which is less than Ringgit Malaysia 1000. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see other things. And thank you guys for watching. Take care, stay safe and peace.